Paul Lee Smith back today. It was good to right. have him back out there with you. Absolutely. It was good to have Lee back out there, and we'll just keep working through all these uh, different protocols. So it was good to have him back. Uh, and, uh, you know, just moving forward, uh, you know, what, what's the next step here? You got him in the camp, and then you start, sure. uh, start working on uh, some of the – some of the uh, yeah. units, I guess. Yeah, we're just continuing it. And like I said, it's, it's, there's nothing real special about it. We just got to improve. We'll continue to build these guys up and be smart about it as, as we build their legs up so we can practice, get a full practice the way we want to. Oh, yeah, sure. There, there, a lot of the stuff on the assignment, how quickly they think, because you actually are going full speed. Now, we don't have the pads on. So some of the holes can get distorted there because – until you're in pads, some of the fits, I mean, we can see them. I mean, it is, it is what it is with the rules. But some things, guys get slung in there because you're just in jerseys, so maybe that hole really isn't there. So really mentally, I mean, physically, you can see how quickly they make the decisions and the protections, and things like that. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, there's always a play that surprises you. I mean, there's a guy that sit there you think that wouldn't, couldn't make that play, and he stiff arms seven guys and goes 99. But, um, but yeah, for the most part. How much is uh, uh, on Matt Hennessy's plate as he tries to earn that job there? Yeah, we're putting a lot on Matt's plate. That's a really important position for us. Uh, and Matt and Matt's handle what we're throwing at him, and, and Drew Dahlman's doing a nice job. And then we got Josh Andrews that can go in there and pull the ball. So we've got some versatility in there, guys that are flexible. And, and that's our charge every day. You, you got to make sure you're developing the right guys, having competition in there at center, and then making sure you pick the right eight guys to dress up for you on game day. When it comes to the offensive line, I know you are throwing a lot of different people in there. What does that process look like to kind of say, I want this guy here, I want this guy over here, and have that flexibility? And it goes to that point. I mean, you, you've got to have real competition. And obviously right now with some of the injuries or, or protocols, guys are, you know, we're having to move guys around. But – you know, I always look at this, we're in the solution business, so we've got to find solutions to those problems. Uh, you'd love to have everybody healthy. It's just not going to happen. It's not reality in the NFL. And so you got to attack it. You can't spend a lot of energy wasting worrying about, oh, what if this guy was here? He's not. So, And that's where somebody like Jalen. So you say, all right, you can work him inside, and now you know he, he played tackle in college, and he's getting an opportunity right there. And it's only going to help him, whether he, whether he starts or he dresses. You know, he's got to be over there. You get an injury, go down. you got to get – Guy go in there and play different positions. Uh, when it comes to the, the veteran rookie relationship, especially when tight end uh, mm-hmm. hits and, and Hayden Hurst, how much do you think that that will help with Kyle Pitts? Or is that more on the court? Oh, it's look, as long as the guy knows what he's talking about, whether he's played one year or two years, it's the same thing. As long as you can help him and coach him, if you can help him. I mean, a lot of people can go out there and, and pontificate about random things and whatever, but. If you can't truly help somebody, you don't know what you're talking about. Guys tune you out quick, whether you're year two or year ten. So you, you, we feel like we got a pretty good combination of experience. Obviously, Justin does a good job with those guys. Having Lee here helps. He's been through a lot of training camps and a, and a lot of plays in the NFL. Scott, going, uh, uh, going back to the, to the offensive line with, with, with uh, Jalen, do you think he's better inside or outside, or are you still learning? It's too early to tell. Yeah. But we, we know, you know what he played in college and how we evaluated him, but we think he has a skill set that has it gives him a chance inside as well. And so it just depends on the health of our team. You know, is he going to earn that spot out there at right tackle? If he's not, then we got to make the right decision. We're, we don't stun his growth too, but if he's not going to play right tackle, he's got to be able to play inside or play multiple spots. How, how much do you prize that, that type of um, ability to be able to work inside and outside, especially with your offensive linemen, let's say six or eight or nine? Sure, it's huge. And there's a lot of guys uh, – that have made careers. At, at, uh, and I'm not comparing Jalen to guys I've been around, but there are multiple guys I've worked with over the years that have made long careers because they can do that. They may not have been the, the best guard, but they can go in there and play center in a pinch and know what to do and help you win that game. So, got a home team. What are you seeing from the uh, safety position, and what do you think the separators, or what will the separators be when you get the chance with the bands? Yeah, we've got some good, smart veterans back there. There's great competition going on back there right now. And just it, it's still early to, to make that evaluation, but it, it helps having Duran and, and Eric back there. Um, Hawk's done a nice job. I mean, TJ, all those guys. It, that helps Richie, too. 
he can lean on those guys when, when you're asking questions about experience and vets and guys know what they're talking about. So it's still really early, but uh, we're excited about those guys in the competition. How about Grant, Coach? He had a punch out and uh, Audie kind of looking at some of the rookies today. Like he has a good rushing down there. Uh, that stuff, you know, I know not to put too much stock there right now, but sure. uh, when you see them make plays like that, um, you know, is that – some yeah, and certainly encouraging. That's what it is. They got to build confidence. I mean, everything's new for them. You know, they're they're taking a step up in, into the NFL, and it is nice to see them. You want to see guys you know, make make plays. So uh, that was good to see from Richie today. Steve White, hey, Coach, you have positions group, groups like wideout and maybe DBs where you may have some position flex there early on. Are you keeping guys in the same spot like the slot guy in the slot, or are you giving them reps outside and inside too to see if they can handle more? Well, some guys we've left at a spot. It helps their growth. Uh, you know, guys, whatever. But it goes back to the same spot. If you're not going to be the X, you know, in certain systems, or you're not going to, you know, you're not just the Z, you've got to have that versatility. So if you're, if, you know, you start on, on fourth down for us, you come in there, you may, you may be an F and an 11 personnel, and then, you know, you go, you get one injury away, you got to have guys that can play multiple spots. And, and that's what's valuable. There's other guys at receivers, same thing. They've made a career doing that. And, we, and we've got really good competition right there. Anything else? All right, thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thanks.